What's up, friends? Uh, my camera's dead. So, I'm vlogging with my phone. Camera's dead. He's up in the sky. So, uh, why am I starting this vlog now, you may ask? In the truck. Who? Mr. Moon is up in the sky. We'll see him in just a second. Um, so, it's okay. She's fine. Uh, this is a part of my Saturday ritual. My wife and I uh, have to go to the church and get a second vehicle, borrow one from the church. We're living that one car life. Hashtag budget. Um, and so I have to go really early for rehearsal. So we got to go pick up um, either the church work truck or one of the vans so I can drive early. So starting the vlog now. Like I said, my camera's dead. I was going to shoot on that. So sorry for the phone video. But this is the start of the vlog this week. Going to the church to get the van. And then I'm going to go, I think, super early in the morning and set back up everything. Say, uh, say, see you in the morning. <laughs> All right, we got the key, so we're gonna go get the truck and go home. All right, home for the night and back at it in the morning. Back on my camera and back to my routine, the grind of every Saturday night of getting prepped for Sunday. As is every YouTuber's routine, this is a lot of your time spent recharging batteries, clearing SD cards, making sure your gear is ready to go. So not the glamorous part of YouTube, but the reality of what it takes to produce content. So about a 30 minute routine here, and uh, it's not too late, it's actually pretty early. But I'm gonna try to get up to the church um, really early in the morning uh, to make sure I've got time to prep and everything. So. New stage setup, so I'm going to give you guys a little bit, little tour of that, um, and I'm pretty pumped, so here we go. So, I'm on the kit, finally everything is set up and pretty much ready to go aside from this camera and then putting an SD card on my other one. So, uh, as you can probably tell, I'm in a new spot here and a uh, new camera angle. So this one's gonna be kind of from this perspective and then I'm excited about seeing how this turns out. My T3i um, pointing kind of right back at me to get a, uh, a shot facing here. So, let me show you the stage. It's not a major change, but um, you guys are interested in this kind of stuff, I know. So, oh, by the way, Daniel, how do you recently have such nice ties, you may wonder? And I've been, people have been commenting about like ties and outfits and stuff, but secret weapon, I don't buy super nice ties. I don't have just tons of polo ties. I don't just buy tons of polo ties, um, like from the store. Houston Tie Guys, Instagram. You'll thank me later. Polo, uh, you know, Polo Ralph Lauren, uh, Man, I'm gonna get in trouble even naming names. Lots of nice brands. 10 bucks, 15 bucks, 20 bucks. Follow them on Instagram if you like ties. Um, if you wanna pick up some ties, they also have wallets. Um, this uh, watch band, Apple watch band is also Houston Tie Guys. So um, they got tons of nice stuff and shout out to them, man. They've been um, helping me out, selecting and curating some ties. Makes my life easy. I didn't have a huge tie library before uh, I got connected with them. So they've been helping me out. So. Check them out, great, great stuff. But anyways, I only say that because you guys blow me up about ties and suits and stuff. Uh, so stage, 
So we are having our Christmas production coming up next week, December 15th, which is kind of the catalyst for this. So the drums are on a riser. Those are the choir risers, which the blinders are now pushed back and they're on. And then organ um, and then keys, the key stations over here. And then keys too, there's another riser. So these are homemade and I say that in a good way. And usually homemade is bad, but our worship uh, pastor, uh, Pastor Keith Pace built these risers. So you can see there's like a track for this clear sonic cage and they're rolling. So everything can roll around all of these risers. You can see they're lifted off the ground a little bit. So they have the ability to roll, which is awesome. So this is kind of a moving towards more of like, a, I guess modular may be the right word, but just a modular setup where we can move things as we want to. So now we've got this great, huge open space on the platform. So really pumped about that. So um, not so much just like a huge overhaul and like, Everything is totally different, but obviously the drums are in a different spot, um, but more of um, just a different approach where now we can move everything around a lot easier where the drums were in a stationary spot. Now they're on a riser. We can roll them around. Um, the cage that we have, it's actually, I keep saying it's a clear sonic, um, but it's actually not a clear sonic. Uh, it's similar though. I don't know what it is. Um, this, is this predates my time here, but this is a little bit um, like more uh, solid. It's almost like rock board feeling. And I think these, uh, these are a little bit taller than the clear sonic ones but i think it does mesh with clear sonic basically um but these top panels are not clear sonic panels but um i recommend people which i need to clean it i've been trying to research how to clean this thing um but it doesn't clean like normal glass cleaner is not good for it and so i wiped it down with just a normal rag but i need to get in there and do it again uh so anyways looking forward to this morning um it's gonna be awesome new stage uh setup uh, I'm going to try to use a new fill that I've been working on, and if I pull it off, I'll talk about it. If I don't, I'll pretend it never happened. So, uh, it's a good morning here at Royalwood Church. Here we go. Also this morning, let me not forget, I'm using my 18-inch Peisty Masters Dark Crash this morning on uh, my left side, uh, my normal ride, and then I'm using my 20-inch Masters Thin over here on the right side. So, kind of new, newer guy to the scene, 18-inch uh, Masters Dark Crash.